Hi, welcome back to our airline planning and optimization course. In this lecture, we're going to discuss the aircraft maintenance planning problem. We're going to divide once more our lecture into three blocks. In the first video, we're going to discuss the aircraft maintenance problem and understand why this is relevant to consider in the airline planning framework. And then in two following videos, we're going to discuss how to formulate the maintenance check scaling problem using first an MLP formulation and then using the dynamic programming approach that we have learned in the previous lecture. In terms of content, we are addressing the maintenance problem in our tactical planning phase and we are using MLP models and dynamic programming to address this problem. If you remember our planning framework, we have already addressed the strategic problems and we have seen in the last lectures the tactical problems regarding the scaling of our operations. In this lecture, we're going to look into the maintenance side of our tactical phase. So let's start by discussing what is the aircraft maintenance problem. So to operate their fleet of aircraft, the airline has to regularly maintain those aircraft. They have to ensure the compliance with all safety and continuous airworthiness requirements. And to do that, the airline has to perform a set of maintenance activities that regard the overall the repair, the inspection, or even modification of the aircraft or aircraft components. And these maintenance activities, they either take place at the hangar, so we remove the aircraft from operations and we put it in the hangar for a set of hours of days to perform routine tasks, which usually go together in what we call uh, maintenance checks or maintenance activities that we do at airports during the turnaround time, so between flights, or during the night. And these maintenance activities done during the turnaround, we call line maintenance because it's done within the line of flights of each aircraft. Let's first look at the aircraft maintenance checks. These are the ones performed at the hangar. So we remove the aircraft from operations and we put it at the hangar for several hours or several days. These checks are usually divided into categories, reflecting the level of maintenance tasks that they comprise. Different airlines follow different schemes on how to organize and cluster these tasks, but traditionally they divide their maintenance checks into A checks, which comprise regular tasks that have to be performed every two or three months, and C checks that include more time demanding overall tasks that have to be performed every two or three years. In old times, there were also B checks, but these nowadays are typically divided into smaller blocks and performed merged with the A checks. There are also the so-called D checks, which are performed every 6 to 10 years. These are heavy maintenance checks that include, for instance, the inspection of the entire structure of the aircraft or the dismantling of engines and landing gears, for instance. For some airlines, these D-checks are split into intermediate layovers, which, in a similar way to what we explained for the B-checks, are also the division of the D-checks into smaller blocks, which are then merged in the C-checks. Depending on how comprehensive is the overall maintenance, each type of check has different durations. The A-checks usually take the full day at the anger, while a C-check or a D-check can take a few weeks. These will be weeks in which we won't have the aircraft available for operations. So it's very important to include this maintenance checks planning as part of our airline planning framework because it means that we'll have less aircraft available, less resources than we do have in our fleet because these maintenance checks require a lot of time from our aircraft. If we don't integrate this check scaling problem into our airline planning framework, we may end up having a set of aircraft from our fleet not available for weeks to perform the flights that we do have in our timetable. And as indicated in the slide before, each one of these tasks are defined according to intervals. So the checks are composed by a set of routine tasks, and these tasks are repeated every n number of days or every n flight hours or flight cycles. By the way, a flight cycle is a sequence of taking off and landing the, the aircraft. The one of these three usage parameters, the calendar days, flight time or flight cycle, that is reach first, is one to define when we need to perform maintenance. Actually, you should aim to perform maintenance slightly before we reach this limit, because at the moment that we reach this limit, we have to stop the aircraft, we have to ground the aircraft, and no airline wants to have an aircraft on the ground. They will be losing money. 
So we want to schedule maintenance just before we reach this limit. And the task within the maintenance check, which has the most restricted uh, definition of the interval, is a task that influences the interval for the maintenance check. So in the figure here, we see an example of what could be those intervals for a medium haul aircraft. So an A-check has to be performed before we achieve 120 calendar days or 750 flight hours or 750 flight cycles after our previous A-check. And once we do the A-check, we reset these usage parameters to zero and we restart counting and calculating when it will be our next due date. In most cases, following normal operations, the flight hour usage parameter is the most critical parameter. So if you assume that an aircraft of this type has about 10 flight hours per day, we have to perform our A-check every two and a half months. We do the same process for the C-check, but here the intervals are much larger. So in this case, we could be talking about 730 uh, calendar days between checks, so about two years, or 7,500 flight hours or 5,000 flight cycles. And this is, these intervals could be larger for the case of modern uh, aircraft. This is for the hangar check, but we know that there is also the light maintenance. And the, at light maintenance is when we carry on all these activities that help us to keep the aircraft uh, operational within the airworthiness uh, requirements without having to take the aircraft back to the hangar. We perform this line maintenance at the airport, either at the gate between flights or at the remote stands when we have, for instance, an overnight at a given airport. And typical line maintenance activities include general inspection before we release an aircraft to be ready to fly, or daily checks that we perform every two days or every day, weekly checks that we perform every week, or any unscheduled maintenance that results for unforeseen events, like for instance a failure detected by the pilots, or to schedule minor checks or tasks that do not require specialized training or equipment or facilities and can be done in a couple of hours. But aircraft maintenance is also very important for an airline because it involves high costs. So if you look into a study from IATA from 2015, in which they analyzed 51 airlines, they have come up with costs that represent, on average per year, around 300 million uh, US dollars for an airline. And per an aircraft, we can be talking about 3.6 million uh, dollars per year. So these costs are very high, and usually they are the second or third uh, cost item for an airline following fuel and crew costs. If we break these costs into cost per type of maintenance check, we can see that a, a daily check, which happens every day or every other day, it consumes about four labor hours, and if we include material costs, it costs us about 750 US dollars per check. The weekly checks, these consume about 10 labor hours and the cost could go above 1000 US dollars. When you move to anger checks, these are heavier and they can cost us about $10,000 for the case of an A check or $150,000 for the case of C check. And if you move to very heavy maintenance checks, which include the structural inspection and the dismantling of engines, we could be talking about 3 million US dollars per check. But the maintenance costs are not necessarily the most heavy costs associated with maintenance. In fact, the airline usually loses more money from the fact of not having the aircraft available to perform flights. So the revenue that they lose, given the fact that they have to keep the aircraft on the ground to perform maintenance, is usually much higher than the costs associated with the maintenance activity itself. So making a large estimation of what could be this loss per aircraft type for a single day, I came up with the following value. So if we ground a Boeing 777 or A350 for one day, we could lose about 200,000 US dollars per day. A Dreamliner or an A330, it could be 150,000 dollars, while for a medium haul aircraft like the Boeing 737 or the Airbus A320, we could be talking about 7,500 uh, US dollars. For a regional jet, this value could be slightly lower, between 50 and 60,000 dollars. And although these maintenance checks are needed in order to fulfill all the safety and airworthiness requirements, the airlines would like to do these checks as less as possible. Or in other words, the airlines would like to have the aircraft on the ground for maintenance only when it's needed and for the shortest time possible. So this is what we'll try to address 
in the next two video lectures by modeling this problem according to a mathematical model that we try to optimize. I'll see you in the next video lectures. Bye-bye.